part of the Moving Beyond Family Struggles Summit, which is coming up uh, the 26th, 27th, and 28th of January. With us on the line, the founder of the group, Yasmin Kirkhez. Hello, Yasmin. How are you? Hello, Michael. Hello, Barbara. It's Hi, so nice to be with you both. Don't you love her voice, Sam? Hello, Michael. I told you you would. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, I love yours. So yeah. you well, thank sure. you. What what uh, what part of Oklahoma are you from? <laughs> a long way from Oklahoma, a little place called Australia. <laughs> oh, well, good. Well, I'm delighted that you, you got here. How long have you been in this country? Nearly 10 years now. Okay. And home now is San Diego. So I'm not far from where you both are up there in Santa Cruz. Well, well it's nice you were able to come over here right after high school and you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Michael. Tell me a little bit. You, you founded the Moving Beyond Family Struggles Summit. And uh, needless to say, uh, all of us that are parents, and those of us that aren't parents, uh, certainly have had issues with family. Uh, I know that uh, with my parents, I probably could have saved myself an addiction if I'd had a better uh, relationship with them. So, and uh, and my children, there certainly have been issues, and God love them. But now, particularly with COVID, you know, people not showing up for holidays, and you you got to deal with not getting angry and understanding their position. How did? And that's a hell of a long prelim to asking you, uh, how did this all come together? Well, I'm so glad you did mention all that, Michael, because that's the reality is that we have all experienced struggles within family and it's more common and normal than we think. And so I'd love to share a bit about how and what led me to this summit. And firstly, like you mentioned, on a personal level, I've also experienced struggles within family and I know the struggles involved. And secondly, in my professional life, over the last decade or more, I've worked with thousands of families that have also shared similar stories about their own experiences with heartache and struggles between family members. So it's an area that I'm not only very passionate about, but that I've learned to be very much a common problem, which is why I aim to increase the support network for all that are facing family struggles. And that really was where the idea for this summit came from. And one of my biggest goals for the summit is to really shine a light on the reality of family struggles and to help people realize they're not alone. Now, is your background, you know, in therapy or, uh, or psychology? Well, my background is more so a business profession, but I've got both. I, my college education was a double degree in human physiology and philosophy. And then my professional life has been a background where I'm a co-founder of a global brand for women and children. But we not only create products, but also run motivational workshops promoting self-confidence, self-love and life success. So both of those combined have given me great experience with working with families, especially women, but families in general promoting happiness and life success. And... In keeping with what we were just talking about, my new venture and focus is to really focus on what I've learned to be true in my experience in that people really struggle with relationships in family. Yeah. Uh, let me bring Barbara in. Barbara, you're, uh, as I mentioned earlier, you're part of the summit. Uh, how did you uh, and Yasmin meet? So I want you to know, and Yasmin knows, that it is just my absolute joy to know this passionate, creative force and well, thank you. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> <laughs> Good company, all of us. <laughs> anyway, um, I work for a wonderful psychologist, Dr. Joshua Coleman, and his uh, main role is working with estranged parents and grandparents, but I give webinars for him in strategies to help make people stronger. So my webinars, webinars are in uh, mindfulness and self-compassion and radical acceptance. And Yasmin happened to take one oh. of my webinars. Mm -hmm. And from there, we met because I do Josh's social mm -hmm. media as well. Yeah. Well, what is, and, and either of you jump in on this, but w when you say an estranged parent or grandparent, what does that mean? Does that mean that they're not talking to the child or the child's not talking to them or a little bit of both? Well, for some reason, the child has cut the parent out of their life. And um, 
and it's getting to be a silent epidemic, not only in the United States, but in our private group. We have people from the Netherlands, New Zealand, Israel, France, uh, just from all over, and more than ever, family conflict is uh, becoming a real issue. Well, apart from the fact that, go, go ahead, I was just going to say, apart from the fact that Sam and I don't talk to our mothers, not only because they've passed, but they threw away our baseball cards, which is really not <laughs> a, a legitimate point. But you, you were going to say something. Please go ahead. Oh, yes. I was, I was also going to add, Michael, that um, family estrangement can happen for so many reasons. And it really is just separation or emotional separation from another family member. And it can result from either someone needing to create boundaries or separation or from another family member creating that separation so it can affect everyone in a family and that's where again this summit really aims to help provide support and advice for everyone well, you know, everyone experiencing it and, and it's and, and please correct me if i'm wrong but it's nothing new but how we're dealing with it. I mean, as when all of us grew up, there were, you know, you know, some people, I haven't talked to my mother in four years or I haven't talked to my such, you know, what we're trying to say, there's, there's a way to stop that. And there, and, and there, there's a way to, to heal those wounds without having to go through the torment and the trauma, if you will, of, of waiting all that time to, to bring things together. Actually, sometimes people are not equipped to heal the wounds. And um, and children might not be at the place where they can understand what's going on. So that's why there is such a wonderful array of speakers that are at this summit. Mm -hmm. Maybe, Yasmin, you wanna talk about that? Yes, and just quickly, I wanna thank you for bringing that up, Michael, because it has always existed and struggles within family have always been around, but. The problem that we've always faced and that we're still facing is that it's not openly talked about. That, yeah, absolutely. So that's exactly, which is where, again, this summit really aims to help provide support for people, firstly, ensuring that they're not alone, that it is a common problem, and that there are ways to overcome emotional struggles, mm -hmm. find happiness again, or cope with all the different areas that people struggle with. Well, it's truly the basis of all therapy is, of all therapy is communication and, uh, and honesty with one another. Uh, can you stick around a couple of minutes so we can chat? Um, so this is a virtual summit. Well, what is it? Everything's a virtual. No, Mike, it's a big meeting, 800 people in a room. Great. You know what, Michael? Over 2,000 people have already registered for really? this summit. Oh. Yes. And it is... Now, a wait a minute. How do you do that? Because isn't Zoom and stuff, is, aren't they limited by well, the number of people? Yasmin has done this in such an interesting way. So people register okay. for a free ticket by going to www.movingbeyondfamilystruggles.com. And then you get a link for each day. And there are, and it. And we'll post this on the Facebook page. Right. So and know. it doesn't matter what your time zone is, it's for your schedule. All of the broadcasts of the speakers have been recorded so you can listen to each oh, okay. one at your leisure you can start and stop in any order and there so it's not an, it's not interactive or Yasmin does it can it be once you do the the free sum and get the ticket you can be hooked up with people to talk well, to is that correct it will be a, a viewing event so there won't be a, a live question and answer right. it will be recordings um, of wonderful conversations that I'm holding with 15 experts. Okay. And like Barbara said, there will be five speakers a day. It's a three-day event online. And um, each day there will be five speakers. And these are doctors, authors, life coaches. And they're offering just amazing, wonderful insight in so many areas, um, such as how to cope with family estrangement, overcoming emotional struggles, finding happiness again, and so much more. There is so much help provided on this summit. And, and as you say, and, and the great thing is you don't have to sit down for five hours. You can watch it at your own pace. You can watch a speaker at a time. Yeah. You can rewind it. But of course, we, while you're not on the phone with your children, you can probably have all that time on your hands. <laughs> exactly. And, and also, like Wes mentioned, it's a free event. So okay. it, free. It costs nothing, it, it's free. It costs nothing to, to sign up. 
free registration and everyone and all are welcome. You were you going to make I, a point, Barbara. Right. I want you to know that we did create a private Facebook group for all the participants that are going to the summit. And there will be discussions oh, going on there on um, responses and questions and thoughts about each speaker. Uh, all right. I, I just want to uh, remind folks again, uh, uh, it's movingbeyondfamilystruggles.com. Right. Is that correct? That's correct. Okay. Yes. How, can I can I ask you, Yasmin? How many children do you have? I have no children. Okay. Okay. I come from I come from a, a big European family okay. from heritage, and um, I have lots of children in our family, but none myself. And so I'm I'm counting myself lucky at the moment from seeing. <laughs> nobody's if, not talking tr to her. Trust me, <laughs> you've been through what Barbara and I have been through. <laughs> you should count yourself lucky. No, that's uh, well, that's but that's the really wonderful thing of this. It's not. It's it's family struggles. It's not exactly. necessarily, although it may be part and parcel to children. It may be parents because we're all children, and there may be grandparents. But that's oh, what's Michael, the universal that's... theme of this. Exactly, and that's the reality of family struggles. It can be between, um, it can be between parents and children, grandparents, um, siblings, uncles, aunties. It really can, and there are so many layers involved, and that's why it really is an area that needs more attention and more light shined on it. Well, it it, it sounds wonderful. Now, um, I know you're you've been talking about this a lot, Barbara. You're you're excited about uh, I'm, being involved I'm very in this. Ex very mm. excited because it's actually wonderful to work with such a passionate person as Yasmin and we plan on continuing yeah. and adding more interviews more resources and and actually making it a bi-yearly summit mm. right Yasmin we have big plans yes well and that's the exciting thing this summit is really the start of continued work and focus on family relationship struggles and creating and providing help and resources to all that need it. So, like I said, the goal being to really help people realise they're not alone, that there is help and ways to cope and find happiness again. Well, uh, Lord knows that uh, Mama said there'd be days like this, but she didn't say there would be years like this, so we have been up <laughs> against it and we are fighting it and... Uh, as I'm uh, uh, fond of saying that I'm, I'm looking forward to looking back, but uh, also looking forward to uh, growing, getting better, and uh, what better way to start, um, the, you know, than dealing with these issues. I don't think it's as much facing what's wrong as opposed to doing what's right, and, uh, and that's where the communication comes in. And, and a lot of it becomes an introspective journey right, to find yeah. out mm -hmm. what patterns you have that may have been conditioned from childhood that you would like to really overcome. And actually, exactly. it's because of the changing culture and landscape of the American family, of families all over, and uh, where it's really an individualistic kind of thing, and if something doesn't make you happy, sometimes even therapists tell you to, well, then cut it out of your life instead of understanding that there can be education yeah. to work around these things. Children aren't like sugar. There aren't substitutes. Um, <laughs> well, I'm not sure what that meant, but it sounded profound. <laughs> Bless you guys. Bless you guys for what you're doing and how you're helping Moving Beyond Family Struggles Summit. Website is movingbeyondfamilystrugglesummit.com, the 26th, 27th, and 28th. Uh, thank you, Yasmin. Delight to chat with you, my friend. Thank you, Michael. You too, and thank you so much for your help and support for this event and sharing your